Hey guys, it's me, Monkey Checking here, and Opti5 freaking is out, yes! It's for 1.7.2, and I'm going to be showing you how to install it. So with that, let's go and begin, guys. So guys, in the description of the video, there should be a link down there that says, you know, um, download link, and then click that, and it should take you away to a window that should lead you to a page similar to this. Uh, what you're going to want to go in and click is Mirror, as you see there, which is, um, you know, a place to download it from. Then you're going to go on ahead and click download Opti5, da 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 and uh, it'll take you away to maybe some pop-up page or something, but, you know, just go ahead and close the pop-up page. But down here, it may say that, you know, oh, we may be on and everything. Go ahead and keep and all that kind of stuff. It's all good. It's safe. I promise. And uh, when you do get it, you should find, you know, it's in your download section. When you do find it to your download area, um, this is what it should look like. So you can go in and open it and wait for it. You are going to need some kind of archiving program, whether that's um, 7-Zip or that's WinRAR. Me, personally, I like WinRAR. But yeah, so with that, let's go and minimize that because we're not going to need that just for a second. Next, what we're going to need to do is go to our Minecraft.jar. And you're going to go ahead and need to click your start button, whatever that might be, you know, depending on Windows or something. And what you're going to want to search there, whether, you know, depending what version you're on, just go in and get the search bar and type in run. So there you go. And you should get a program that looks like this. Open it up. Ooh, I apologize. I double clicked when I shouldn't have, so that made me skip a step. I'm sorry if you're now confused. I apologize. Ah, just click once. Okay. And what you're going to want to type in is right here percent app data, exactly as you're seeing it on the screen. Then go ahead and click OK. And then you should find, you know, your Minecraft at the top of the page. So go ahead and open it up. And you're going to see a bunch of stuff, you know, depending whether or not you have mods up there. I've had mods before, so you'll see a bunch of stuff up there. What you're going to want to find is the versions folder um, right there. So what you're going to want to do is go and open that up. And then you're going to want to find the same version that, you know, OptiFine is, you know, running for. And that's 7.2. So what you're going to want to do is click it, copy it. And then go ahead and paste it. And you should get a new one that's labeled something like this. And what you're going to want to go ahead and do is rename this thing. Um, for this time, let's go ahead and call this mod. And that's just M-O-D. And just remember the capitalization because that's going to come into you know, play later on. So let's go and open that up. Then let's go ahead and unlock this page, you know, with RAW or 7-Zip, depending on what you guys have. Wait for a second. Okay, because it's going to ask you to buy it. And then what you want to go ahead and do is bring up your OptiFine, you know, Renoir thing that you brought up before. So, um, yeah, this is going to be all that we need. So, ah, let's go ahead and grab all this. Scroll down. Then let's go ahead and open up our other. Oh, pfft, man, I completely messed up. Here we go. Ah, drag and drop. There we go. Then go ahead and delete your Meta Inf and your uh, your Renoir for your, your versions. So go ahead and delete that. It's going to say, are you sure you want to delete it? Yes, you do. Come back over here. Then drag everything into these files. You don't want to accidentally drop it into one of these folders. You want to drop it into the actual files. This way you know there's no accidental mess up. Then go ahead and click OK because it's going to be replacing some stuff. And then you should get a new meta env and go ahead and leave that there. And then once you have those, go ahead and close those both down. And you should be now in the folder where, you know, you got the 1.7.2 mod. And then what you're going to want to go ahead and do is start renaming stuff. And remember, if there's a space or not, when you typed in mod, me, I put space, mod. So keep it like that. Then go ahead and rename the actual paper, you know, whatever you guys want to call it right there. Rename it mod again. Then go ahead and open it up. And you may need to open it up in Notepad or something along the lines, you know, depending what computer you're on and whatnot. What you're going to be looking for is right here. It should be at the very beginning. It should say ID, then this right here. What you're going to want to do is go right in between there and label the exact same thing that you labeled the actual folder itself, the actual um, pad itself, and everything else. So what we're going to have to call it is space then mod then you're going to want to go ahead and save it then once it's saved go and close everything all up go ahead and go to your minecraft me personally i keep it in a file well, you know i just think it's a little bit neater then what you can want to go ahead and do is go down to edit profile then from there go to use older versions or you know use a certain amount of versions and you guys get what i'm saying then what you can want to go ahead and do is scroll for it and ours is right there 1.7.2 mod let's go open it up open game and oh i apologize i opened up in game folder so save profile then play and if everything gone accordingly it should just open up minecraft let's see and success okay now we're in minecraft and let's actually see if optifine is working so let's go to our options let's go to our video settings and as you guys can see we got all those super amazing optifine settings that we're used to but let's go ahead and make sure that we have the one that we all really really want and let's see if we have the zoom we got the zoom we have the zoom. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, um, that's OptiFine. If you guys are wondering what OptiFine is, it basically gives you a lot more 
video and render settings for your computer this way you can get more frames so let's say that you know oh i can't handle this certain settings well when you go in here it gives you tons and tons of options for you to turn things on and off and it could really maximize what you want it even gives you the option of you know what your frame rates want you know what you want this what you want that it just gives you tons and tons of options to really either maximize your computer in the sense of getting the most amount of visual effects or maximizing it so that you can get the maximum amount of performance because your computer may not be that good but one of the big things that i think a lot of people really like is the zoom feature i know a lot of people like that especially when they're playing mini games or certain um pvp based games in minecraft you know such as factions or survival games you're like oh is that a chest over there boom then you get a zoom in and be like oh wait no that's not a chest that's a bat in a window so yeah guys that's optifine that's how you install it if you guys have any questions or you know need any help or anything please put it in the comment section below i'm more than happy to answer it and that's my tower chests okay guys i'm lucky jenny that's all i really got guys peace